In this tutorial, we will make a four bar mechanism for which we have the given lengths and given positions. So we start with new model and we call this new model as four underscore bar underscore mechanism. And we don't need the gravity here. So I say no gravity and rest I keep the same and I click OK. So I have the window in front of me and for doing the position uh, for making the four bar mechanism, I have already done the synthesis and position analysis, which means that I already have the four lengths of the link. So if I here see uh, in this table, which I have posted over my Adams window, that there are four links, link number one, two, three, four. By default, link number one is the ground link. Link number two is the link connected to the ground. Link number four is connected on the other side of the ground link. And link number three is the link which is connecting link number two and link number four. And the four lengths of these links are given by DABC. DABC is the normal way we name the lengths of the four bars. And all these lengths are in millimeters. So as a result of synthesis, we have four lengths. Then comes the position analysis or the position of different links of a four bar mechanism when we are looking for a specific point. So theta two is the position where it is, uh, theta one is the position of link number one. That is zero because we will place our link number one along the ground. Link number two will be at 40 degree. Link number three will be at 20.298 degrees, which is found from the position equations. And theta four is again 57.325. So these informations are important when we are going to build a four bar mechanism in using Adams. So we will start building our link. So first of all, we will make the length of our mechanism. Uh, link number one. That is the ground link. So I have this working space in front of me. I will use in bodies the rigid body link. And I will keep the depth and width of all the links constant so that all the links look uh, similar. And I choose the millimeter. And uh, so this millimeter will be used as width, I think. Uh, depending on the lens, I have 8 millimeter width is sufficient and depth is normally less than width. So I, we use it 4 uh, millimeter. So 4 millimeter is the length uh, depth. So the first length of our mechanism is D 100 millimeter. So I call it 100 and change it to millimeter. This is a new path. So I will make it with the origin of my coordinate system. So I will click at the origin and this is the second point where it is moving. So the grid size is very large. That's why it is showing like that. But I will make it horizontal when it is fully horizontal. I will click again and this is my mechanism. If I press F, this is the mechanism. I press zoom to take it a little bit outer. I can also, if I want, I can change my grid setting, grid settings, uh, settings. So I may make it 75, and I make it maybe 50, or I change the size. Well, the way I'm telling you today, it's not so important to use the grid, but it may be useful uh, in some other uh, situations. And also, the size of icons is very large. So I can change the size icon by double click this link, this point, and I'll be having my uh, this template here. And in this template, we have a default size of 50 that is very large. So I also decrease it 10 times. I make it five. OK, so you see the local coordinate systems of different markers made on this link are smaller now. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is that I will build my uh, the second link, link number two which is A and it has a length of 40 millimeter and also its angle is 40 degrees. So I will make this link 
and I will uh, the width and depth will be kept constant but for the length I will be using uh, 40 uh, millimeters so this is the length I am having so I will click on the end of the first link I made and the second I have to put 40 degrees so I'm not sure where will be the 40 degrees for the time being I put it at a convenient location so this is my link number two drawn if I have to put it at 40 degrees what I have to do I have to click on the center of this link and then click the right click I have to look for this starting point so that is not marker CM but it is a different it should be a different uh, so I click it here uh, so still not here so this is the part three link number two I am looking for uh, that link which is giving me this marker point so if I go there in part three I have this marker four and this marker three so I am looking for marker three I can also double click it here and if I see the marker 3, which was the starting point of my second link, is at an orientation of 40 degree. So that is not what I want. I want it 40 degree. I will change it to 40 and I will click OK. And this will change this link at a 40 degree as compared uh, with reference to the global coordinate system. So now this is at 40 degrees. Now I want my third link. But before third, I will go for the fourth link, which is uh, C. Uh, length which is 80 millimeter and is an angle of 57.3 to 5. So what I will do I will make another length the width and depth will be same I will change the length to be 80 so this is 80 millimeters so now length is also fixed here and I can click here so this is also at a different random angle I can place it somewhere here let's say now I will again change its location to orientation to 57.325 so for that I can again click on this link this is link number four and link number four was used making six and five uh, five markers so marker number five has to be changed I will change its orientation to be how much it should be as shown 57.325 three to five that is the theta four for my case okay so this is it um, all three links are positioned well the fourth will automatically will adjust its way that it will be on the uh, connection of these two so i will draw the fourth one the length of the fourth one is that is the link number three actually in numbering it is 120 so i put 120 here and i start here and i finish here okay so this is my link number four and I can see that my mechanism is complete so this is how you can make four bar mechanism uh, using the link lengths and the position and I can also solidify them by using this icon at the bottom so these are four color links now uh, now these are apparently close to each other but not connected yet so we have to also define the four uh, joints so I will put the joints the revolute joints here I click a revolute joint if I double click revolute joint it will be fixed uh, until I complete all the joints so it's a good way to do that so if I double click it it will be keep on adding joints to different bodies until I escape this away so I will use my first body this is part 2 remember not to select the ground which is the screen so part 2 is selected then I select part 3 and then I click at the bottom uh, at the common point marker where I have to place the joint see I still the command is active because I double clicked it now I click it between part 3 and this part which is part 5 in my order and I make this joint and this is part four and this is part five and this is the point where i have to join them this is part two and this is part four and i can see the part two marker here so these are the four joints i had to make so all the joints are clear i don't need revolute joint command anymore so i will press escape 
so this will finish the revolute joint command uh, at the moment the ground link which is pink in color here is not properly ground so i have to fix it with the screen so that it becomes ground so in order to fix it i can use the lock joint i will click somewhere on the ground somewhere on the screen and then part two and i can use its center of cm its center of mass to uh, lock it so this mechanism is locked now i can see if i have properly drawn it by going to simulation and settings of simulation simulation control we call it so here this window will be shown to you you can use the hand drag simulation to see if it is uh, working for you or not so you have to click somebody if you click on the ground it will say nobody uh, so if i click here this is the input link normally so you see i'm dragging the mouse and it is working so in this way before running any simulation you can test if it if your model is properly working or not so here uh, somewhere some students may ask that why they are being shown five paths so the ground is the link number one here which is the screen here so even i can make this pink part as the part of the ground so if i want to name all depending on the number i have here on the table i can call this as link number one so this which is part two should be deleted so what i can do i can i can even delete this and i can put the red link to the screen connected and green link with the screen connected so practically it will be the same as it was it has four links and the pink link which was no, not moving at all is not required to be drawn here so it's the same thing i can again use the revolute joint i click somewhere on the ground i click this part red part and then i click this marker so there is a joint here i again click the this part four and then ground and then this point and there's again joint here and i can check if it's really working i can use the hand drag simulation tool again and see it's the same as before only this pink link which was doing nothing is has been removed and the distance of this point to this point is again the same that is d which was 100 millimeter so unless until this distance is constant and the screen is working as a ground the mechanism will remain the same okay and we can also it's a good practice to rename your parts based on the real physical performance they are doing so you can name it as <clears throat> your part three as it's the input link or as i have shown you you can call it link two so this is link two okay and similarly you can call your uh, this part five is actually link three so we can call it link 3 and similarly the link 4 shown here is link number 4 but we don't call it part 4 we call it link 4 so we call it link 4 okay so this is how you can make your 4 bar mechanism and their names are also shown as their their function so ground is link number 1 now link number 2 is here link number four is there you can also uh, see that link number four is at the joint connecting the ground and link number three is here so this is how you can make your four bar mechanism in the next video i will show you how to simulate this four bar mechanism for angular velocity and how to find the velocity unknown velocities of other links based on one uh, independent angular velocity so don't forget to Comment, like and subscribe the channel. Thank you very much.